a different area, so I think the lighting might be a little better here. We'll see. Um, I did put this notice out on my YouTube um, just yesterday, I think it was, or even this morning, I forget. But So I, I know there's not much notice, but hopefully there'll be some people here. And I mainly wanted to show my friend mail that I got from my friend Gerald. So I have that here, and I can't wait to get into that. But I thought I would show a few um, sales first, like I used to do um, when I went live every Sunday. I would show my sales first. I only had a couple. Um, this is very cute, fun pin, and it's like Moon Glow, Blue Sight. And it's like these little beads all together in a pin. Jennifer, hi, thanks for coming. So I sold that for $16.15 on sale, 15% off, plus shipping. And I sold this little scarab turtle pin for $20.40 on sale, plus shipping. So that's a that's real pretty. I've had that for a while. I don't, truthfully, I don't sell many pins. Um, so I don't, I don't list that many. Hey, hi Anita, hi Cindy, whichever or whoever or both. How are you doing? So I, I had, I don't know if y'all noticed. Hi Gerald. Thank you. I'm going to as soon as I tell my story here, I'm going to get to opening that uh, envelope. I'm so excited. Um, I did a Sarah Coventry video. Hi, Martha. And I worked really hard on it. And, and when I did it, I had the book. I'll tell you what, it's very cumbersome. Oh, good. Okay, hi. Um, it's very cumbersome to have the book. And try to show the book and try to show the jewelry and uh, make a long story short I watched the video back and I was not happy with it didn't like the way it flowed uh, there was a lot of dead time while I was looking for something and I'm like I don't like that video so I'm just gonna take it off my channel so that's what I did but I'm planning on doing it uh, some way somehow because I know that you can't hear that well on your end oh my it's probably my iPad although I am speaking up I should take it out of that cover maybe but or move it closer maybe can everybody else hear me okay hi Cindy So I thought I'd show some pieces of Sarah Coventry today. You need one of these. I got this at uh, Amazon. Uh, I thought I'd show some pieces today that uh, Sally, Vintage Discoveries, and Carla, Princess Casserole, did not show. So I thought that would be interesting. So I'll just show a few of those. But, um, yeah, this is the book. And let me get into what I've been waiting for all week. Because I've had this most of the week and I've been wanting to open it. It's my friend mail from my friend Gerald. So he is in Utah and he has his friend send it from Utah, I think. <laughs> but yeah, let's get let's get it open here. It's a little muffled. Oh I hope it's gonna be okay try to speak loud I know it's that cover that I have on my iPad but the problem is if I take the cover off then the iPad's gonna fall we don't want that oh look at this so this is the bag I see Monet in here right away he promised me some Monet so let's get started Wow, Gerald, thank you so much. This is so fun to open stuff. I don't 
I haven't been buying too much lately, so this is really fun. Hi, Elizabeth. So first thing we have is this really cute pendant on a black ribbon. Oh good, I'm glad, Elizabeth. Oh good. So it's on a black velvet ribbon and it's uh, gunmetal and it's blue crystals and that is very cute. So that's the first thing. So pretty. Next thing is really cool. This is uh, Avon and it's really just my kind of thing. It's very simple choker with the um, bar, the curved bar and the rhinestone it's going around the center. That's cute. I love that. I bet you that's in my book. Oh, I'll have to show you my neck mess too. <laughs> and this is so cute. Oh my gosh, this is cute. This one is MMA. So that's the Museum of Modern Art. That is a good pickup for sure. Um, or is that the Metropolitan Museum of Art? That's, that's what it is, Metropolitan. Look at this, so cute. It's got little ladybugs on it. Oh my gosh, I think that's a keeper. I don't think I can part with that. That is really cute. I love that. And there's the little tag that says MMA. And then on the other side, it says USA. And you can't see it, but take my word. And that is so, so cute. I love that one. It's like Christmas, I tell you. She's got them wrapped up all nice, protected. Oh, this is nice too. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, I love this. Look at that. The cameo bracelet with the mesh. Man, that's neat. You don't see anything like that very often. Hi, Cheryl Sebi. It's good to see you and thank you for coming. I don't remember seeing you before, so thanks for coming. Very pretty. I love that. And I learned something on, uh, well, I, I don't know if I knew this before or realized it, but I had never called these kind of fasteners tongue, tongue fasteners or something. And that's what um, Karen Lebo called it when she was showing her bracelets that she had just purchased on her recent video. She called that a tongue clasp. So... It's got a tongue clasp. You can learn a lot from watching Karen. Karen knows a lot. Oh, what's this pretty thing? Oh my goodness. This is neat too. It's a multi-strand. And it is uh, Betsy Johnson BJ. That's another wonderful brand. Isn't that cute? It's got Lord de Lee. It's got the heart here. Um, it's got uh, Jet Teme. Jet, it, it says I uh, love, I think, in France or something like that, or I love you or something in France. French? Not in France. <laughs> in France, too, but in French. And there is the. <laughs> oh, boy. And there's the BJ on there. Very cute. Love that. I like that uh, Gerald works at a at an antique shop and he just picks things up for me. That is a fun one, Gerald. Thanks. Um, I'm so fortunate. One of my friends just works at an antique shop and is so nice to send me things. <laughs> this, Monet. Oh, they're pretty. I love red. Who can... Who can resist red and gold, man? That is really pretty. And the price on there was 20 And I'm sure today, since these are vintage, I'd say 90s maybe or possibly late 80s. I'd say the price on that is, has, has gone up. Got this 
pin. And this is, uh, hmm. Oh, it's Listener. This is Listener. Listener. Love that finish on there. That's my, that's my kind of thing that is different kind of textures. That's really neat. Like that. This is a good mixture in here of different things. Have a big pin that says Sarah Coventry. Oh, it's a Sarah Coventry. That's a pretty one. It's like a, is that wheat? I just think that is a, 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 a sheath of wheat, a plume of wheat. <laughs> or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's a flower. Maybe it's a hyacinth or something. It's pretty, but I'll look that up in the book. That's what I'll do. See what it says. Oh, a nice modernist pendant that is also Sarah Coventry. That's a neat one. I like that one. It looks like corn. Yeah, I was thinking corn too, maybe, but it's got a curve. It's curved. So I guess the corn cobs are curved. Not always. <laughs> but in very nice condition. And this is actually um, like a faux tortoise, but it's really, really dark. But it's really pretty. I love those shape, those big bold shape things. Ooh, look at these. I think it's missing a stem, but I thought I had, you'd have an extra one to fix it. Oh yeah, it is missing a couple stones, but you are right, I do have, I do have stones to fix that. These are Monet. Ooh. They're different for Monet. Look at those. Sparkly and old time looking. They look like 50s. Please let me know what ends up being. LOL. I would love to know. Oh, okay. I will do that. What the uh, thing ends up being in the book. Um, yeah, I need to, uh, like I said, I have a few things laid out here to show that the other girls don't have. We'll do that after we get done with these goodies. And I think these are more Monet, maybe? Yeah, those are pretty. I don't have those. They're pierced with little, like a topaz stone up here. You're welcome. And these are just some 50s with red stones and pearls that are really nice. And they're clip-ons. If I miss any of your comments, I'll have to check them later. <laughs> Trying to see them, but it's hard to do all of it at the same time. Let's see. What do these say? These are little um, cufflinks, and they are Spidel cufflinks, which I'm used to seeing Spidel like a, a, an ID bracelet or something, but um, those are nice. They're like, I would say unisex. You could probably, women or men could wear those with their French cuffs. And I have one more bag. I think, unless I missed something, I think I have one more baggie here from my friend. Oh, oh, that's cool. I've never seen anything like that. That is cool. I love that, and that's so true of me. Um, and it's a gilded life. On, on this little tag, it says, A Gilded Life, and it says, Blast. Isn't that cool? Look at that. It's got a crown in it. We know who likes crowns. Now, come on. We know who likes them. <laughs> it might be Anitra. I'm just saying. But that is cute. That's really neat. Never seen anything like that. Thank you, Gerald. I love that. 
I like things that are really different. And it looks like, you know, someone put that together, actually. Looks like, looks like handmade stuff. Although, you know, the tag indicates, I guess, that it was, you know, maybe mass produced. But, you, 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 ding, ding, ding. <laughs> ding, 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 we have a winner. <laughs> Uh, these are, mmm, they feel so good. They're real crystals. And look at that. Look at the shine. They lose. Hola. Como esta? Un grande brazo. That's pretty. Love the feel and sound of real crystals. And here is another, like a silvery, silver tone with green crystals. That's really pretty. It's like a more modern statement necklace kind of thing. Um, and it's two strands. Look at that. Wow, that really sparkles. And it just has this little bead dangle. It's not signed, but it's really cute. I think that's it. I think I've got everything. That's a lot. That's a lot of stuff from my friend. He's been hanging on to it for a while, I think. Thank you so much, Gerald. I really, really, really appreciate you um, and your support of my channel and everything. Which one's Napier? That newer one's Napier. The newer one. Is it this one? Oh, I see. Yes, it is. I'll be. It is Napier. It says right there on the back. I was just used to seeing that on the, um, you know, a hang tag or something. But I think the newer ones, they're making it a little different. But that is neat. So I will go in my Napier box. Faux show. So, there's those, and there's my sale, and what am I going to do next? I did have a, a little haul to show you from things I bought online and things that I have bought on a little impromptu trip to the antique mall. So, I um, went to my favorite booth, of which I did record a 15-minute like video, so... I haven't edited it. If you want me to, I will do that. Are they still in business? Uh, Napier? I believe so. I think so. As far as I know. Um, this I bought uh, on Macari. Thank you. I will enjoy it. I bought this on Macari. I think it's pretty cool. It's a, like a reproduction. I don't believe it's super old, but I like the chain dangle and that really cool um, statement piece there. Uh, something about chili. <laughs> something about chili there Mary Luce was talking about. Do a video? Okay, I will. I will do a video. And I got this because it was Ann Klein and it looked really pretty in the pictures. I'm, I'm kind of Wishing I wouldn't have got it. I'm not sure. Um, it looked a little, a little better um, quality, I would say, in the pictures. And I'm used to Ann Klein stuff being really, really nice. Um, but it's that kind of a, a matte silver tone that kind of gets the, the marks on it, you know, that you kind of have to buff, buff it on an, on the regular to make it look, you know, to keep it looking nice. But I do love the colors in it. So that and it was pretty cheap. I think it was it was all said and done like maybe 11 or 12 with shipping and everything. So pretty sure it was something like that. So and this one was I think 11. Hi Laura. It sure has been a while. Thanks for coming. Um this these are uh, Russian enamel earrings, and they're by, 
they have a name and I sewed a necklace that was um, that I made a good bit on but when I saw these earrings I knew they were that person that Russian person and I bought them because I thought oh the earrings you know the earrings should do well too and but I, I came to find that there's a lot of these on Etsy they are like porcelain um, so they're not as rare as I thought they were but you know I'll get I'll make my money and some more maybe but I was kind of disappointed to see how many there were on Etsy yeah because when I found them I was like oh I sold that necklace for a lot and there's there's earrings but it doesn't always work that way now if I could have had a signal when I was in the antique mall I could have looked it up and seen that they weren't they weren't something I should have gotten but there's no signal in there makes me mad these are cool these are real blingy um, they're nicely made. I think they're, they're actual crystals in there. They're really, and when I first saw them, I thought for sure they'd be like um, Swarovski, but they are not signed or anything. And I don't see any swan on them, but they are lever back and they're nice, nicely made. Fancy, fancy dangles. And this is Monet. Um, I, I went back and forth to getting this too because I thought there might be, and I haven't checked yet, there might be some like it online, but I haven't checked yet. Um, it's a newer, newer Monet pin, but I just thought the colors on it, the enameling, the design was so pretty. Um, I really like it looks like a stained glass something or other and it says Monet on the back in the newer the newer letters the newer signature I sold the necklace yeah is that what she said uh, Anitra I missed that then these are Monet these are Monet, and I like that they're, they look like little chiclets, and I like that they're Monet, of course, so they'll go in my box. I have to work on them, get a little bit of verdigris off of them, but not much. There's just a little on there, and they're, they're the ones that have the Monet written around the post. So I would expect they are 80s, late 80s. I like that they just look, they're articulated and look like tiny little red chiclets. Chiclets. Okay, so that, and then I have one more pair of earrings that I got. I think these are so pretty. And I bet they're not real old. I mean, I hope they're old enough to sell on Etsy. They look, they look like they're newer. But aren't they pretty? Wow, I love these. They have like, they're kind of like a marcasite look, but not exactly. They're more like a druzy. I don't know. I don't know what you'd call it, but I just think they are really pretty. And they're made pretty nice. And I don't know how I'm going to describe them. That's one thing. You get something and, you, and it's just so different. And you're like, how am I going to describe that when I go to list it I have that problem a lot that's when it's it's good that there's maybe more like it you like those I thought you'd like those they're blingy um, and I bought a I bought some a piece of Napier to add to my collection I'll show you in the book if I can if I can find the strength in my arms to lift the book up <laughs> I think I can I'm pretty strong but it's this one is what I bought. I also bought earrings 
and the earrings uh, didn't even look I just thought that they were the ones that went with the necklace and they they actually were sold with the necklace but they weren't the matching ones they weren't the ones in the book um, so I actually got a partial refund because um, they were not the right the right um, earrings to go with it they looked similar but they just weren't a match and they weren't as nice quality of course because they weren't Napier that's a forgot to look at the date on that I think it's maybe 91 or something I forgot to look so so I'll show you a few of my Sarah items that I have like I said that that the other girls don't have hi Lisa how are you how you doing out there thanks for coming to check me out one thing I wanted to show in the Sarah Coventry book is and I don't know how many people I think like 12 people saw my last video before I took it down um, I'm gonna have to make a make my videos private and, and watch them before I put them up so I will avoid that problem in the future but so 12 people saw what I'm gonna show you now <laughs> I don't know who they are because they didn't leave any comments or anything a couple people left a comment but I had that page marked see this is the thing that I did this is the thing that I did in the video that I took down I'm like looking and it just was making me mad okay here is something y'all might want to screenshot it's the dates and the different time periods and the different um, signatures of Sarah Coventry I think that is a valuable thing to know um, that's in this book um, so you can date you know if you don't have the book at least if you have that information you can tell the time period of it look it up that way so so This is terrible. I get on here and then I'm like lost. I'm like, I can't do like two, two things at one time. <laughs> uh, okay, this is called Mosaic. And it is, I don't think the other ones, the other girls had this. Um, it's from 1963. I'll show you in the book then, but this is a cool piece. Um, I know I got this at the antique mall for five dollars a while back and I decided I was gonna hold on to it because it's just so so ostentatious and so cool now these pictures in here could be more colorful that's it right there but you see how much prettier the pin is than that picture but so it's called Mosaic 1963 and see what else I can find to show you quickly okay summer magic this is a really pretty necklace be pretty for summer and then I didn't realize it till lately that this pin actually goes with it So this is a set. I don't have a bracelet or anything, but I don't even think it came. It came with earrings, not a bracelet. But that's from 1964. You can see it right here in the book. And I don't have the earrings, but this is the necklace and that's the pin. Hope you are having a great day. I think I'm going to go for a walk after I'm done here. I've been walking just about every day. 
for close to an hour. So I feel good about that. And even when it was like 17 degrees, I walked. Couldn't feel my face, but it felt still felt good to be out walking. This is from 1975. Think you do have the pin? Yeah, I think that white one with the flowers is kind of common, but it's still really pretty. How about this? Isn't this unique? I like it a lot. It's another one that I held on to. I was going to sell, but I thought I just like that design. and It's in such good shape. It's just like in perfect condition. And that is called Polonaise. P-O-L-O-N-A-I-S-E, 1975. Right here it is in the book. Looks like it came with some earrings, but I don't have it. Don't have anything but the necklace. I don't, I don't know if that is real um, common or not. I like it though. Um, inspirational, thank you. Um, I like that. I like to be in inspiration. Golden, let's see, Hercules. Okay. This this is supposedly kind of maybe maybe not real common. Um, this is called Hercules. And isn't he cute? And you're used to seeing the owls and things like that, but this one's a little different. And he's pretty old too, I think. I'll show you in the book. Well, he's from 75, that's not too, too old. 1975, looks like he had some earrings to go with him. Carol, hey. I don't think I said hi to you, Carol. How are you? Hope you're doing good. This I took from my own, um, my own jewelry box, because I've been wearing this. I don't think I can find it in the book, but look, isn't that just cool for, you know, wearing today, right? Big chunky links are still in, I think, and um, that's in really nice shape, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm ignoring Carol. No, I'm not. <laughs> See, the, um, the fold-over clasp has a design on it. You know, you don't see that very often. I mean, you only see that in older, older pieces. But I don't think this one's signed, but this one's actually from 1956. And that's something that that's in that nice of shape. But I think it's that aluminum because it's real lightweight. But I love that. That's... That's my keeper. Um, okay, well, I'm not going to look in the book because that will just make me mad if I sit here and start leafing through it and I'm ignoring you guys. That will make me mad. So I'm not going to do that. But... I do have some other stuff laying down here to show you. This is so cute. Look at this little cat pendant. Well, he's called Cheshire. Cheshire cat? He's got like a little amber lucite body and he won't turn around. There we go. He's from 1976. He's got the little diamond hang tag. And the girls don't have the griffin pin, I don't think. And this is one of my favorites because it's an animal. And it's got rhinestones. And, well, it's, it's I guess it's like a mythical animal or something. Because, like, up here is its head, right? And then I think it has a wing. Probably two, but you can only see one. And then... The rest of the body there, but see that little scattered stones in it. I like this one. 
Um, it's from 1959, so it's kind of an old one. Yeah, it's kind of old. And this, I think, is called Avocado Magic or something like that, or Golden, golden Avocado, maybe. But I like it a lot. That's a cool piece. And it's got the Lucite up there. And then you could take that off if you wanted to. That's pretty neat. I don't know when that's from. I don't have the page in the book right now. This is that. The thing about these things, they keep falling off. And then they get separated from what they belong on. And then I don't know what's what. I need to have a better way of, of um, organizing this stuff. This is really pretty. It's got a million kind of different textures in there, in the leaves. Hi, Purple Love. No, it's not a sale. It's just my haul. And um, I was showing some Sarah Coventry pieces. Um, no, I don't do the sales, but if you are interested in anything, you can let me know down in the comments and put your email or something and I can get a hold of you. Well, I think that's all I'll show today, and I think that's all I wanted to tell you about. Maybe one more thing. I don't know. Y'all might have, um, one of these. Did you know this was Sarah Coventry? I've seen these before. Um, but I didn't really realize they were Sarah Coventry, like a hostess gift or something. Thank you, Purple Love. I like it, too. Um, I didn't really realize that until I saw this in the book. And there was no mistaking this pattern, right? So these were, like, hostess gifts, I guess. And I just put some earrings in this one. It is a Mel, M-E-L-E, box. One thing I wanted to show you. I think that's it though. So thanks a lot for coming. I know that um, some of you might go over to Lisa Flipping Crazy's channel. She's doing an auction right now. And um, that's about it. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much, Gerald, for the friend mail and for your continued support. You know I have to come on my channel most of the time when I have friend mail. So, <laughs> that's why, that's one of the main reasons why I'm here and just to visit because I haven't been on for a while. But, thank you so much for coming and y'all have a blessed day. Be kind when you're picking and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.